All right, let's get this show on the road. Hello. Hello, and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. This is my show. What's going on, guys? What is going on? Today, I will be working on the screenplay I've been working on for the last two weeks on the show, um, called Not Aliens, and then especially Not Ghosts. Uh, so we're going to be continuing to work on that. Um, yeah. So I will jump across to the other screen here. Boom, look at that. So I came up with an idea uh, today on how to fix the problem that I was having with this ending this scene. And I think I'm going to do a sort of Hollywood style thing where the plan is never quite discussed, but it just kind of happens. So yeah. Hey, Johnny. Uh, my cold is fine. I am no longer sick. Backstory on that for the other people in the room. I was sick on Monday and Tuesday of the week. No, I just, when I get sick, I take care of myself properly and allow myself proper rest and recuperation, Drani, unlike you. That was probably pretty loud. I felt like a soda today. I'm just saying, as much as you feel like doing things, sometimes it's better to just lie in bed. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No, Sam, we are definitely a pop region. I have just, well, my family is from a soda region. Actually, not even. They're from a, um, what do my aunts and uncles call it? Uh, they call it a mineral. That's what they call it. <laughs>
No way, man. It's no fun to talk like everybody else. Well, I never crack eggs. So. Because I don't like them. And is there a wrong egg? Is there a wrong end to crack eggs at? I'm, I'm confused. I think it should be a scene transition. But to what? To what? I don't know what that reference is. Sorry. I don't know that of which you talk. That of which you speak is unknown to me. Oh, sure. I've never read Gulliver's Travels. Good old Swifty. Jonathan Swift. I've never actually read anything by Swift. Um, but I know quite a bit about him. I mean, he's an Irish writer for one. He's known for his satires. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not quite over the cold, but like I'm like 95% good, so I can deal with a couple of sniffles. page break here so that um no not yet I haven't spent that much time thinking about it, to be honest. And there's only two questions in the box.
gonna pull out my Trache again. Screenwriter's Bible. I wanna look up how to do a POV shot. POV stands for point of view. Generally in um, prose and novels and that kind of thing, you have a point of view character or a point of view. Uh, you do a point of view from a single, uh, a specific character, and that switches sometimes and whatever. In film, a uh, point of view shot is looking out from a character's eyes. Huh, interesting. Should not use beats. Probably the wrong way. I need to go this way. Nice one, Sam. Nice one. Okay. I think I got it.
<laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Just a, just a kind of touch of it. <laughs> My favorite instance of the spooky POV is actually in um, the Evil Dead 1 where they do this like weird camera floating on the wind thing like when the book gets unleashed it like runs through the camera runs through the forest is there a clip from that i should get a clip from that Found it. Probably get in trouble for this. Should go to the main screen one. This is the best example of this. I should turn on my own audio so I can so I can hear it. Anyway, there you go. I realized the audio didn't play for that. I apologize. But I can link, I can link that uh, in the chat. If you do want to hear the audio. Turn. 
That was Bruce Campbell. The man himself. Uh, so I know you're asking that, Johnny, because you have been hanging out with Stevie and watching uh, Xena. So, Bruce Campbell made the evil darkness... Or, sorry, the evil darkness. The evil dead. With notable director Sam Raimi Sam Raimi went on to make to produce Xena in the 90s and later would become the director of the Spider-Man films specifically Spider-Man 1, 2 and 3 I think he directed 3 did he not direct 3? I have no idea So, Sam Raimi uh, wrote and directed The Evil Dead, and The Evil Dead is what put him on the map. <laughs> not Bruce. Bruce is not named Sam. Come on. Oh, and he did Darkman. Darkman was awesome. If you've never seen Darkman, you should totally watch Darkman. What a great film. <laughs> I mean, it's entertaining. I wouldn't consider it a, a fantastic exploration of <laughs> film technique or anything. But, but yeah, damn. What a cool movie. <laughs> That's not my fault. <laughs> yeah. 
You think, Sam? Oh, hey, there was a doorbell. Yeah. <laughs> Should have heard it when it was really bad. Well, I mean, I'm not the only one in the house, so, like, <laughs> you can't expect it to, to always be. My cell phone isn't even in this room. I'm not gonna lie, uh, Wing is my, uh, actually it's specifically Wing Zero, um, it's like my, when I can't think of something, it's what I always write. <laughs> And come on, please. It's it's thirty days or ninety minutes, whichever comes first. Uh. 
I put it away? I used to have a wing zero up there. I gotta build that fancy one I have. I should do that. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. What the hell is a zero wing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that Genesis game. Yeah, no, not that. <laughs> Though I do know what game you're talking about, yeah. All your base are belong to us. That's your own problem, Johnny. Because the Japanese version is the original version and therefore the correct version, so every other version is wrong. Including the English version. Which I have seen. If you have a version in Klingon, Sam, I want you to send that to me because it would be amazing. I'm not surprised by that in the slightest, Sam. You don't really like anime, so why would you watch anime?
Yeah, but I wouldn't have thought any of your friends would have liked it either. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about the clones. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Mass produced. Fancy 3D copies. Xerox. I'm not going to eat the eraser. thinking about getting a snack soon, but I'm going to take a break soon so I can do that. Uh, it's a little peckish. Ugh. No, I just really want to smooth out the rough edges because it's all got little, I don't know if you can see it there. It's got little pockmarks on all the edges, and it annoys me so much.
Yeah, yeah. Keep it classy, Sam. Keep it classy. Yes, yes it is. Well, that's why it's not called zero wing. It's called wing zero. Logic, Sam. Come on. You you just gave me a lecture about grammar. Come on.
All right, I'm going to take a break now. <laughs> Let me go get a snack. So I will see you all in a bit.